Gentlemen, have you been or are you currently being treated for prostate cancer? In such a case, it pays to know the facts. Let's take a closer look. After a cancer diagnosis, you will receive follow-up care from a specialist, such as a urologist, radio-oncologist, or oncologist for several years. In some cases, an active surveillance approach will be recommended as part of the management of your cancer. This approach aims to monitor the cancer and treat it only if necessary. There are several other ways to keep an eye on your cancer, both during and after treatment. First, there is the prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, blood test. Your specialist will measure your PSA level periodically to assess the cancer's response to treatment. Your PSA level should be undetectable following radical surgery as there is no longer any prostate to produce the antigen. With radiation therapy, PSA levels are expected to drop very low, but they won't reach zero since normal prostate cells are still present. Usually, PSA levels go down until they reach a plateau. They should then remain stable. At each follow-up appointment, your doctor will check to see if your PSA level has increased. If it has, they will assess the time it takes for this level to double. A significant increase over a short period of time could indicate a recurrence with or without metastasis. That's why your doctor monitors PSA levels closely. If your doctor has recommended hormone therapy, the PSA measurement will be sometimes combined with an analysis of your testosterone level. An increase in your PSA despite a very low testosterone level usually indicates that the cancer is growing. Your doctor may also order imaging tests to monitor the disease or to determine if cancer cells have grown elsewhere. This is common practice with cancer that is already aggressive upon diagnosis, has progressed quickly after treatment, or no longer responds to treatment such as hormone therapy. This may involve an abdominal and pelvic scan, magnetic resonance imaging or MRI, or bone scan, among other things. These tests help measure the size of the tumor, determine whether the cancer is spreading, and if so, find out where this is occurring in the body. If you're experiencing bone pain or if your cancer is aggressive, your doctor will usually order a bone scan to see if the cancer has indeed spread to the bones. If your family has a significant history of cancer, such as breast or ovarian cancer, your doctor may recommend a genetic screen. You may carry a genetic mutation that could make your cancer respond to novel targeted therapy. Your test and exam results will impact your treatment recommendations, as will the location of your cancer, the rate at which it's growing, your age, and your overall health. Whether during your treatment or after, medical monitoring is essential. Your appointments provide an opportunity for you to talk to your specialist and report any new symptoms that are of concern. Do not hesitate to ask your healthcare team for advice. Questions or concerns? We're here for you. Procure would like to thank the specialists, nurses and patients for their help in the realization of this video.